Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James. Hope you guys are all doing well and I'm back as we continue with my guide to the artifact locations on the Crystal Isles map. This is the final part and in this one we're going to be doing the artifact of the devourer. This one's just located in the north arctic biome and only requires a flying mount in order to reach it. Let's head on out there. So here we are in the Arctic region of the Crystal Isles map and it's this little peak here that has the artifact just sat on top. So there are a few of these peaks spread about but you want the one that's closest to the coast where you can see the redwood biome in the distance there. As you can see there's the artifact of the devourer. Let's just bring Maverick in for a landing, grab ourselves one. So I'll just bring up my coordinates for you. GPS location wise we're at 15.5, 44.8 and in the far north as you can see. Just grab one of these. Let's say you can see the red woods just there, there's the blue arbalisk. And there's a few of these peaks but it's the one that's closest to the coast that has the devourer. So I'm going to grab another one as it's going to allow us boost another point in melee damage that helps with the hypothermic insulation on the otter just grab one more and that's the artifact of the devourer there you go and if I just spin round here you can see there is a few peaks there's them three in the distance but it's the one that's closest to the coast and near the redwood biome that you need to be looking out for so let's get back to base and put this one out on display. So that covers the artifact of the Devourer, just located in the far north region of the map and all it requires is a flying mount in order to get there. And that also concludes my guide to all artifacts on the Crystal Isles map. I hope you find them useful, I've just put them into a handy little playlist so if there's any that you're missing you can refer to this guide and hopefully that helps you get there. But that's all the time I've got for this one. Until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see ya.